Hi everybody! Today we have a birth announcement video for mini Australian Labradoodle puppies. Hi, I'm Claire from Van Isle Doodles and in today's video we are going to introduce you to our ABC litter of five mini Labradoodle puppies. The litter is called the ABC litter because it is all Bernadette and Copper. Bernadette is our mama Labradoodle for this litter and Copper is our papa Labradoodle for this litter. Originally, we had a different name for this litter, but when Bernadette cycled, she just spiked her levels so quickly that by the time we did her first progesterone test, she was really already out of range. So we were very fortunate that Copper's guardians were able to rush our handsome red caramel boy right up to us, and he and Bernadette enjoyed a very successful honeymoon. And at first we thought that she might not even get pregnant, but we have these five mini Labradoodle puppies to show us that Copper did the job and Bernadette did as well. So these little puppies were born on April the 23rd, two days ago. And we've waited till today to do this birth announcement video for the puppies because we always like to give a little bit of time to our mom to get settled and for the puppies to be in a really good, strong nursing routine. Now with Miss Bernadette here, this is her final litter. This is her third litter. After this, she'll be spayed and retired and go to live forever with her guardian home where she's been since she was eight weeks old. But in this litter, when Bernadette had her puppies, for the first 24 hours, she was quite in a state. She kept picking all the puppies up in her mouth. She would take them out of the whelping box and she was leaving them all over the place. Now this is not normal behavior for a mom. And we do anticipate when it's a third time Labradoodle mummy that perhaps they'll not be quite as interested in their puppies and feel confident enough to leave them a little sooner. But we don't expect them to be picking the little Labradoodles up and taking them all over the place. So we've had to do some adjustments. And that's what part of what you can see behind me here is this big blanket. So what we do is we take the X-Pen, which you can probably see off to the side here, and we take the X-Pen and put it right around the whelping box so Bernadette is not able to exit the box and take the puppies anywhere. And then we take this blanket and we clip it on with these are actually uh, Canadian tire uh, clips, but I use them for quilting. So we clip the blanket on at an angle so that it covers most of the whelping box. That gives Bernadette a really good feeling of security. She has a roof and she feels her puppies are safe. And that did the trick. She no longer felt she had to take them out and find a safe spot for them. What she was trying to do was to put them under a chair, under a table, or under some shelving. Anything that had a roof. So, as is often the case with Labradoodles or any breed of dog, you need to figure out what is your dog communicating to you. Now they can't use words, so they do things by their actions. So once I could see where she was depositing the puppies on a regular basis, I figured out she probably wanted a roof over her whelping box. Easily accomplished with the blanket. Now she's relaxed and calm. The puppies are nursing more frequently and better. She's happy to lie down and be with them all the time. So today we have opened up the X-Pen a bit so that she has space in front of her to go in and out of the box as you see she just did now. She can drink whenever she wants and she can choose if she wishes to lie outside of the box for a brief period of time. Lots of water is really important for mama Labradoodles. Water is needed to make milk and when they're lactating they are also losing a lot of moisture out of their body. So it's important that we're able to replenish that all of the time. And the other thing of course that's really important for Bernadette as a mama Labradoodle is that we feed her a quality diet. So right now she's eating, oh, about one and a half, almost twice as much as she normally does. You can hear her in the background right now. She's running around looking at the blanket. She's seeing where it is and checking it out. Because she knows this is a blanket that's normally over them. And you can see she's getting a little bit annoyed that we're doing the video without the blanket there. So she's digging in the background here, trying to make a nest with the blanket. So you may see it disappear as she pulls it off, but we'll put it back after the video. 
So Bernadette's diet consists of raw food with some puppy kibble added to it. So normally our dogs just eat 100% raw food diet, but when they're lactating, we add in the kibble so they have more carbs. Carbs are needed to make good milk, and that's why we add those in. That way we don't have to feed her a huge amount of uh, high carb vegetables, which have a high sugar content because they are high carb. This way we add a little bit of grain into her diet, which normally she doesn't have, but it's fine for the short term, and it helps with her milk production. Bernadette, you're getting very excited back there. Do you want to come back around? We'll see if she comes back around. I expect she will, because she does not leave the puppies for too long. But she's still having some annoyance with us for taking the blanket off. So Bernadette's delivery went really smoothly. She had her first puppy at 3.30, and it only took her an hour and 10 minutes to deliver all five of the puppies. And it does get a little bit easier as time goes on once they've had more than one litter. And she knew exactly what was happening. She knew where she was going to have the puppies. She was already coming in here where we had everything set up and ready for her. Because when we went to bed on the uh, 22nd, we were fully anticipating that we would be getting up during the night to deliver these babies with Bernadette. So now let's take a little quick peek at all of these mini Labradoodle puppies. Hey Bernie, is that okay? Can I show everybody? Thank you. The firstborn puppy in the litter is the only solid puppy, and that's this beautiful chocolate sable male here. Now he looks like he's brown right now, and that he's just a regular brown puppy, but he is a sable, I'm pretty sure. He has a little bit of the dark line down his back, and Bernadette herself is a sable. Sable is a dominant allele, so whenever you have a dog with sable, you're generally going to get the puppies in the litter carrying sable and presenting as sable. So this little solid boy, he doesn't have an ID collar as you can see because he's the only solid puppy, so he's solid boy. It's okay, honey. There you go. Can you fit? Can you fit in here? We'll just make sure Bernadette's comfortable. Do you want me to move them over a little bit? There we go. There we go. I put them right here. Yeah, there you go. Good girl, Bernie. Good girl. Good girl. There we go. Yeah. There's a lot of puppies for one mama to look after when you're so tiny. There we go. So this little fellow here, this little chocolate boy, he was the first born, as I said, and he came in at 3.30 on the dot, and he was 187 grams when he was born. And you'll know if you watch our YouTube videos our, from our Van Isle Doodle Station that there are a lot of different weights when the puppies are born. And these ones are all small because the, the Bernadette is our smallest puppy. She is our smallest mama Labradoodle dog, so her puppies naturally all weigh less than anyone else's. So they're all under 200 grams. So that's Mr. Solid Boy. Oh, and this little boy, he is also the communicator in the litter so far. He has no difficulty squawking his little head off if he does not have his preferred spot at the milk bar or if one of those stools happens to go empty and he wants a new spot at the milk bar, right? And Bernadette does tend to get a little bit upset when he cries. She doesn't like her puppies to ever be in distress. Now, the second born puppy in this litter is Black Color Girl. And she will be right underneath here. Come here, little beauty queen. There we go. This little lady, she is so tiny, she can fit in one hand. Oops, careful, honey, you stepped on one. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. Let's make sure this bun is safe. And maybe what we'll do is we'll just hold the puppy a little bit lower down so that Bernadette doesn't get worried. So this is our first girl in the litter. Now you see how Bernadette is picking up her bum <laughs> and making her literally stand on her head and cleaning her bum off here. The reason for this is because puppies cannot eliminate on their own. So mom has to stimulate them to go by licking. And mom also consumes everything that they excrete. And that way there's no scent left for any possible predators to find the litter. Bernadette is very, very enthusiastic about her cleaning of her puppies.
So Black Collar Girl was our second born puppy and she arrived at 345, just 15 minutes after her brother. And she is a beautiful, beautiful caramel party. And she will be um, a stable probably as well. Her color is going to end up most likely like Bernadette's. You'll see she looks quite light in her markings right now. And you can see they're beautifully placed on her head here. Very symmetrical. But these colors will darken. The caramel gets darker as time goes on. So you'll be able to see those beautiful pattern of her little party markings there even more as she gets older. And Miss Black Collar Girl, she came in at 160 grams. And she is the smallest puppy by far. She is just a tiny, tiny little one. She's just, just so sweet way I can hold her in my hand there. So that is a very tiny little puppy girl, yes. There we go. Here, can I put her back down there, honey? Thank you. And then the next puppy that was born is Green Collar. And I'll just find green collar here. If I can just get, convince uh, Bernadette not to lick for a second. There we go. And green collar is quite different from black collar in that you can see he is quite substantial. And he is a chocolate sable party with absolutely stunning markings. He is almost a tuxedo like Bernadette because the chocolate almost covers all of his back, but it doesn't, so he's a party. And this handsome little guy was born at 355. So just a 10 minute break there in between the two of them. And he weighed 192 grams. He almost broke the 200 gram mark, but he is just the most handsome fellow. He is going to be one gorgeous puppy as he grows older. And his chocolate is going to change in color because he's a sable. You're going to see more of these sort of ready tones that Bernadette has come out in his coat. Right, little buddy? Okay, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. I put him back. There we go. Bernadette is not excited about having them lifted up. There we go. There you go. You come lie down next to me. That's a good girl. Next was Pink Collar Girl. And pink collar girl is very similar to green collar boy. Okay, I hold her just here. Another chocolate party. And again, she'll be a sable. And so this chocolate is going to change color over the next eight weeks and over the next couple of years as the sable does clear out. And you can see one of the really cute little features she has, if we can get Bernie to let her stay still for a sec, is this little white smudge on the top of her head. Now, as she grows older, that's going to be basically disappearing, but you'll always find that there's a little bit of white up on the top of her head there. Very cute. And then she has the beautiful chocolate all on her face, except for down around her nose here, which is white. So that will be about like this area on Bernie's face. This will be white on this little girl's face, and up here will be the chocolate color and this little lady came in at 188 grams so she too is a really good size for this litter and she's just got the sweetest little face she just a crazy thing in the whole world beautiful markings again almost a tuxedo where she's almost the dark color on the bottom two-thirds of her body but she's not so she's a party as well there you go and last but not least is red collar and red collar is the other caramel party. Can I put her down there, sweetheart? Hey, Bernie, I just put her down right here. That's a good spot. And red collar is right here. I think she's nursing. So I'll just very gently take her off. There we go. We'll just convince her to let go. There we go. There, and okay, I just put her down here, don't worry. And you can see Red Collar Girl already has that darker caramel marking, um, which is quite different from her sister. So she is much more already the color of Bernadette. And she may just stay this color or she may darken up a little bit further and be more of a red. So, um, Copper, our Papa Labradoodle for this litter is a dark red caramel Labradoodle. So she has more of his coloration than Bernadette's. Whereas um, the other party caramel black collar girl has more Bernadette's colors. When Bernadette was born, she was the same color as black collar girl. And you can see the party markings on this girl are, are uh, really quite beautiful and interesting. I really like how you have these two little drops here. It's almost like a waterfall with a little bit of spray down here. And if you look down here in this area, 
here is the caramel color and caramel over here and then we have this white going whoop, just in here a little bit like an inlet. I think that would be a good name for her. And then my favorite feature is on her tail where she has this adorable little polka dot of caramel in the white area. Really a cute marking for this baby girl. And then you can see on her on her face here, she has those um, very symmetrical markings on either side of her head. Both eyes are colored, and then she has the little blip on the top of her head there, a little bit of a blob of color to really make her set it all off. And she does have color, no, she doesn't have color under her. I thought she had some color under her collar, but she doesn't. So Red Collar Girl was born at 432. That was the biggest um, gap in time between them and she weighed 171 grams. So we have really good and quite consistent weights on these puppies. I'm really happy with them. I think that they all have really beautiful cold tinted. They just have the most pretty markings, don't they? Yes. And what we're doing with the puppies now is we handle them. As long as Bernadette is all right with it, we hold them right up to our necks and we get them started to recognize our scent. Now, sometimes, as you saw when I was picking the puppies up before, Bernadette was not too keen on me having them. So if it's a time when she doesn't want us to do that, then we simply do not do that. Bernadette is eating all of her meals in the box here that we're in right now. She's not uh, willing to come out and leave them for long enough to eat, and she will not eat unless I feed it to her by hand. So Reynold, myself, Jillian, and Taylor, we all take turns feeding her. We all take turns coming in and handling the puppies. At this age, it's important not to overhandle them. So we come in and we probably touch each of them for about five minutes, do a little bit of the scenting, and then the rest of the time is just sitting here with Bernadette. So normally what we'll do is we'll just curl up in the box, try to take up as little room as possible, something like this and have Bernadette come and hug up with us and rest her head. And mostly we just pay attention to her. And that's to reinforce to her how proud we are of her, how important she is and make sure she gets plenty of attention. Because you can imagine sitting in this box all day, 24 hours a day can get a little bit boring. She does come out to go to the bathroom and when she goes outside to go to the bathroom, she only goes out for about five minutes and that's it. And then she's right back, anxious to come back and see the babies. Oh, and right now you can see here on um, Mr. Sala collar, you can see his beautiful white markings on his chest and under his chin. And you'll see how strong he is at suckling and how he can pull himself up and get himself into a better position. So this is a really, really good sign for the puppies that they are very vigorous and in good health. And that's what we like to see with our puppies. And you'll notice here on Bernadette, she has a little bit of a red mark. And you might wonder what that's from. Well, the puppies are not that smart yet in figuring out this is the milk duct, this isn't. So Tom, sometimes you'll have a puppy sucking here and you'll have a puppy right here. Now, why do they make that mistake? Well, that's because the only sense that the puppies have that is functional at this point is their ability to smell. Their noses have heat sensors in them to tell them how to find Mama Labradoodle uh, Bernadette, and that also tells them where the milk supply is. So sometimes, if somebody's already right on the nipple, they'll go over here and suck like crazy for a while until they realize nothing's happening, and in essence, give her a hickey, if you will. So what we do when that happens is we just put a little bit of bag bomb on there to make sure that it's not bothering her or hurting her. So that's all the puppies from the litter. As I said, Bernadette's doing really well. She's eating nicely for us. She's not having any bones in her raw diet right now. So we do supplement her with extra calcium and phosphorus and vitamin D. We have a special supplement for that that we give her. And then we just give her regular Tums throughout the day as well to keep those calcium levels high. It's very important that she has lots of calcium in her system because the puppies are taking lots of it out of her body. Body. She eats three times a day. Uh, we do leave her a snack at night if she gets hungry overnight. And when uh, Labradoodle Mama is lactating, there is no limit to what they eat. We let them tell us. If they want to eat three times as much as they normally do, then that's what they get. And in Bernadette's raw food, she has a 
very large selection of proteins. And that's to make sure that we have no allergy concerns and that even though the puppies are not eating raw themselves yet, they are drinking milk that's being produced by a raw food diet. So we want to have everything in there so that they're exposed to everything right from day one. And she also gets a fair bit of tripe. Tripe provides her with many, many um, benefits and it also helps to regulate her hormones. So when I was telling you about how she doesn't like not having the blanket, that's all as, as, as a result of her hormones being well, a little bit out of sync because she's just had puppies. So when we give them the tripe, that helps to bring all the hormones back into sync. And you can see here, Mr. No Collar Boy is giving us an acrobatic display and showing you all of his many positions and moves to be able to nurse properly. And you can see how he's sucking here on this nipple. He's not really got it straight in his mouth because he's on his back. So he's probably going to give her a little bit of a spot there. So when we see this happening, we just gently pick them up and we move them back into position. And then sometimes they'll still fall off. Usually they're all running all over the place underneath each other trying to get their favorite spot. And they knock each other about. It's amazing how strong this suction hold is. It's uh, incredible how such a little tiny creature who's not even 200 grams can hang on for dear life like that. And he's, he keeps wanting to fall over to the side, I think, because Bernadette's paws there. Yeah, let's use mommy's foot as a brace instead of knocking you over. So that's all of our puppies from the ABC litter. They're two days old. Uh, we will do another video update for sure when the puppies are two weeks old and open their eyes. And if we have a chance, we may do one in between and give you a little bit of news. But if we don't do a YouTube video, you can find short little videos and lots of pictures of the puppies on our Facebook page, which is Van Isle Doodles on Facebook. All sorts of things are posted on there, not just of this litter, but our other puppies and other goings on at Van Nuyl Doodles. So we really hope you enjoyed the video and we look forward to seeing you back again for our next YouTube video from Van Nuyl Doodles. He's a good mommy. Yes. Thanks for being so patient. What a good girl. You're such a good girl, aren't you? Yeah.